We got an interesting weird news, it is about a possible zombie apocalypse. In today's video, you will learn about zombie apocalypse. Have you ever heard about it? No. Then stay tuned. Is it possible for the zombie doomsday to happen? Let's talk about it in this video. Coronavirus forced the streets to be empty and most people stayed inside, reminiscent of a zombie apocalypse movie, and now an expert has revealed what the outbreak of the living dead might look like. The topic of overwhelming pressure on infection rates, lockdowns and health has put the planet in a creepy state. Due to coronavirus, most cities and towns can now provide ideal environments for zombie outbreaks, and now researchers have revealed the zombie outbreak. Claire Samuels, an anthropologist at Bucknell University who teaches the zombie course, posted a topic on Twitter that reveals what the zombie apocalypse looks like. Fortunately, Ms. Samuels first said that it is much easier to control zombie outbreaks than the COVID-19 pandemic. She explains, in reality a disease like zombism would generally be very easy to contain. With a zombie epidemic, you would immediately know who was infected. There would be no moral ambiguity about how to handle the situation, except for feel-good zombie movies like Warm Bodies. You can't help them. They are already dead. People who are infected by zombies have immediate symptoms, often turning in a matter of minutes or hours. There is no asymptomatic incubation period. This would differ greatly to the COVID-19 incubation period, where symptoms do not tend to show for an average of 5.1 days. Ms. Samuels went on to elaborate on the situation in the zombie movie. Once the health and police service declines and the government collapses, people will often become the worst version of themselves. However, she pointed out that this may not be the case, and the current coronavirus crisis shows how much humans actually support each other. She added, societies without centralized governments, etc., what in anthropology we sometimes call, acephalous societies actually have less conflict than we do not no conflict people still fight sometimes violently but there are mechanisms for how to resolve these problems including murder etc in ways that actively attempt to curtail violence one mechanism for conflict resolution is physically moving away from people it is a mystery to me why in the walking dead for example people don't just move away from each other given that the world is almost totally depopulated and they could go anywhere. And what we are actually seeing in the COVID-19 pandemic is not a collapse of society, but it's strengthening from the group up. People are creating neighborhood networks. They are reaching out to friends to offer help. They are showing care and concern for each other. And our current heroes are those who have been caring for all of us. Nurses, doctors, teachers, cooks, grocery store workers, farmers. That desire to reach out and help people during a crisis is often missing in zombie films, which tend to assume that we will all descend into aggressively individualistic survival mode unless forced to do otherwise. But that's not really how people are, most of the time. We hope that zombie outbreaks or zombie apocalypses will not happen. Are you enjoying the video? Please click like and share to help our channel. For more interesting videos, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon below, so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. What can you say about this? Just feel free to leave your comments and reactions below. See you in my next video.